this is a quick preview of things that we've been doing on this front. Here you can see that there's a set of VMs connected to a vSwitch on an internet connected trust zone. And then another set of VMs on the same ESX host that are on a separate protected network trust zone. We're leveraging VMware's vShield capabilities, vShield zones to isolate those VMs and provide runtime visibility and enforcement of virtual network traffic. Um, an incredible new capability in vSphere 4. But what we've done is we've extended that capability beyond the traditional firewall type rules and, and uh, policies. So for example, here we've logged into one virtual machine and we're composing an email where Sri sends an email to Rob and attaches uh, a spreadsheet and that spreadsheet contains uh, a credit card information. And that email is going to transit from the email client to the email server and it will cross those internet zones and protected zones. What we've done is we've integrated directly into vShield zones via the VMSafe APIs, RSAs, DLP, or data loss prevention technology. What this does is it basically can check and inspect, and you can see here the dashboard that provides uh, visibility into events, things about content policy. In other words, is the information that's traveling across your infrastructure containing secure information? For example, here, this email. You can see here that the RSA DLP technology has triggered a policy action, which in this case is an audit, uh, and it's been triggered by a content blade, which in this case is a credit card number. There are content blades for all sorts of compliance policies that exist out there, ranging from credit cards in the payment industry through to personal information in the healthcare verticals. And you can see here that if it's an audit, we, by the way, could have also popped it up for the end user and given them a warning, um, that we've actually matched the credit card number. It's been brought up as an audit for the administrator. And they can actually open the email or uh, take a look at the actual attachment. And remember, it was the content in the attachment that triggered the policy. This quick example, which is just one of many areas of collaboration, shows